everybody, Mike Allen here. We're downtown Los Angeles on the corner of Adams and Figueroa. And uh, we're fumigating the uh, St. John's Episcopalian Church. And I'm filming today live on location. Show you guys a little bit about what I do every day. All right, let's go inside and take a look at them beams. And I'll show you exactly where the termites are and how they're affecting this building. All right, let's go into where we got this building half covered. Uh, see, there's a big hospital and a daycare center and a soup kitchen on the back of this building. We already got that covered. Let's walk inside. Hello, how are you doing? Here we are back inside uh, the church and I'm going to show you what goes on inside the building during the fumigation process and uh, maybe show you a little bit about how big the inside of this building is. When we do a fumigation uh, we need to know the interior volume of the uh, structure so we measure the length times the width times the height and uh, then we know exactly how many pounds of gas we need to shoot inside the structure. So like I said, all these walls are concrete uh, all the way up, but the ceiling is not. It is completely wood beamed and it has a lot of detail, a lot of uh, architectural carvings. So let's see if we can go up to the uh, organ tower up here and maybe get a better view, see how high this is. Let's check it out. All right, we're going to walk up these stairs here, way up to the top of the organ tower. I'm going to check it out, see how high it is up here. All right. You can see the detail in those beams. termites are actually in them beams and they're sifting down onto the pews. There's a nice shot. Beautiful building. The architecture is just breathtaking. Alright, now inside the church is going to be very difficult uh, to keep this gas afloat three times heavier than air. So you can see uh, we've got the tubing coming in the doorway here that we were outside at and st strategically replacing the tubing uh, all throughout the church below and we have fans and upward all throughout here and it's going to help the air circulating upward. Now this isn't the only means of air circulation we're going to do here. Uh, here's a good example. This tray right here. These trays, before we do the fume, we actually do an eyedropper of chloropicrin, which is tear gas and that tear gas sitting in that tray will then be lifted by these fans and we have trays behind all these fans and that will help be a uh, deterrent or a warning agent since this gas that we're using is completely colorless and odorless we have to use uh, tear gas in every situation not just this job make sure that the gas stays flowing in an upward position. Now also what we're going to do in here is we're going to use some fans about three times bigger than these and we're going to attach tubing to the fans and then they're going to be attached to the sides of the walls aimed all the way up to the ceiling where the actual problem is. All right, this is the tubing that we use when we shoot the gas in. You can see we got this section of the building with the tubes set up and going in. 
and you can see it's just uh, about a quarter of an inch. And what we end up doing is we take those quarter inch hoses and go here to the back of the truck where the bike hand is. And we have the gas cylinders. And basically what happens is we take a scale and we hook the scale to here in between, hang it on to the top of the cylinder of gas, you open it up, and uh, you can watch how many pounds of gas you're administering. It's an RDA uh, machine, and what it does exactly is it's hooked up to a computer, and all of these uh, hoses are going throughout, and they're actually pulling in, they're, they're sniffing in uh, air, and they're regulating and monitoring exactly uh, the gas situation throughout the building so we know that it's not you know stronger on one side and weaker on the other we know that we're getting uh, a very good circulation of the gas and we're not wasting our time right. we're going to check out the inside here in the kitchen area uh, you can see we got fans and we got uh, Hoses going for the Vicane and for the uh, sniffing unit. And in the kitchen, what we do is uh, we make sure all the food that's in the refrigerators and in the cabinets is not out and left open. And uh, we double bag everything. So you can see uh, here's some stuff in the bag. Double it up. Uh, there's actually one bag inside here done up and then another one on the outside done up the same way. You can see here there's you know, two bags. You can put everything in these bags. And uh, you can leave it actually inside here during the fumigation process and it'll be safe. And so what's going on is you can see they take the tarps from the top or the roof and then they drop them down to the ground. Once they go to the ground, We've got sand snakes and different heavy weighted materials that keep them down to the ground. These are very heavy, full of sand. We use these at the bottom. Once the tarps come down, you can see we put carpet on the edge, all the sharp edges, wherever the tarp could get torn. Put danger signs all around the building. A warning. The doors are all double locked so that no one can go in mistakenly.